It is not uncommon for people to get nervous when the idea of speaking in public or being in front of a large audience, it can actually be really intimidating and cause a feeling of being on edge. When you take risks and try new things, you can open up yourself to a new world of possibilities. Today, you will discover how to use your nerves and fears to your advantage and how to speak confidently in front of a crowd. This is important for you to know because public speaking can help build your confidence, help you develop your communication skills, and show others that you are knowledgeable and credible. It can also be an opportunity to share your ideas and experiences with a large group of people. Hi, I am Connie and I am qualified to speak to you today because I just took a summer course of public speaking. And I am confident that I can offer you valuable advice on how to improve your public speaking skills. Here is what you will hear. One, preparation is important. Two, practice before you present. And three, embrace your own style. Let us get started with preparing for any speech. I am delivering a speech right now. And if I had not prepared and written an outline for this speech, I would be all over the place. So what I'm saying without an outline, I would lack structure and I would struggle to stay focused and organized and I would not be able to make sure that I was touching on the important main points and it would be difficult for me to make sure that my speech flowed logically. So I want to share some tips with you when preparing for any speech because this can be important to keep in mind. The audience that you're speaking to, the topic you're speaking on, this will help you structure your speech and determine the most effective way to deliver it. And it'll help you to stay on topic. An outline will help provide a structure and keep the speech organized and on track. Your outline will allow you to ensure that you cover all your main points that you want to make in order, in the order that you want to make them. So the following outline will help make sure that your speech is not too long and it'll also keep your audience engaged. Preparing an outline is a crucial step in writing a speech as it will allow you to organize your thoughts and ideas in the order that you want to present them. Your outline will allow you to establish your main points and to think through how you're going to explain and support each of those points. So now that you know about preparing, let us move on to practicing. Imagine if you were not able to practice before giving a speech, you would make many mistakes and forget important points, which you which would in reduce the impact of your speech. Let me tell you, practicing your speech can make a world of difference. When you practice your speech, you can work out the kinks and refine it until it flows perfectly. This can help boost your confidence and it will also ensure that you are delivering the best possible speech. Practicing also gives you the opportunity to rehearse and make sure your timing is right not only that, but practicing will allow you to deliver a speech naturally. So it doesn't sound like you're reading a script. So now that you now that you've had a chance to practice your speech, you can feel more comfortable and confident. Now that you know about the preparation and practicing, let us move on to embracing your own style. Every speech is unique in their own individual way, but you always want to make sure that you make a lasting impression and that your speech stands out from the rest. When you're delivering a speech and you're embracing your own style, you're allowing yourself to be creative and find new ways to engage with your audience. You can embrace your own style by just being creative in itself. This will allow you to connect with your audience and in a meaningful way. You can use stories, add humor, use examples in your speech, and this can make it more engaging. 
You can also use credible sources, and this will allow you to gain respect from your audience and will help to ensure that your speech stands out. And when people are listening to your speech, they'll walk away with a good impression of what type of speaker you are. So remember, be yourself, use relevant stories, make your audience laugh, and have fun. So in a nutshell, you learned, one, preparation is important, two, practice before you present, and three, embrace your own style. Now it is time for you to step out of your comfort zone. I'm rooting for you.